This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're walking along the Jim Shug Trail along Dryden Lake, which right now looks like a giant expanse of snow, because it is. And for the next four days, we're going to take some of the discussion prompts from our Soul Matters small group ministry material. And I'm going to reflect on them as I walk. The theme for this month is Beloved Conversations. And so we did this, I think, two weeks ago about imagination on the Finger Lakes Trail. And that was a fun series to do. As a reminder, if these questions spark thoughts for you or musings from you, these are mostly the same questions that we use both for our Open Circle program and our UU you Connect groups. And so if you're not involved in either of those programs and you like the idea of reflecting on questions like this, reach out to us, either myself or Kelly Ross, or another member of the staff, and we'll get you connected with those small groups. So the question for today, regarding Beloved con Community, is, has the distinction between community and Beloved Community been important to your path or sensibility? So lots of things our communities. Cheers, where everyone knows your name, is a community. But Cheers is not, in my mind, at least not in the religious sense of beloved community. Because beloved community, to me, has a sense of intention about it, that it is a community that is at least in part concerned with being a community for each other. Now that doesn't need to be a church. That could also be a graduate school cohort or a civic organization or a group of people volunteering. Here's an example from my life. The closest thing that I've been in to a beloved community, outside of churches I serve, I should say, was a couple of years in the early 2010s when I lived in Baltimore and I participated in a fellowship program for returned Peace Corps volunteers. And we were all grad students, but we had also all gotten back from serving in the Peace Corps within the last couple of years and gotten this fellowship. And so we met regularly in a formal way, but also informally a couple times a week. Once a year we'd rent a cabin up in woods, not unlike this. And it was a learning community. It was, it was an intentional community. It was the language that was used for it. But it was also a community of a lot of people who were trying to integrate this experience of being a Peace Corps volunteer with who they were going to be now that they'd returned to the United States. There was a lot of tenderness in that group, a lot of care for each other. Well, yes. That's not to say that other communities, communities that aren't, that don't have that sense of intention to them are not also great. You know, there's a, um, a restaurant, a bar in Lincoln that before the pandemic, Stacy and I would go to, not every week, but near enough, at about the same time. And got to the point where the folks there mostly knew us and we mostly knew them. And we'd walk in and say hello, and our orders didn't change so often. They would be ready before 
like we ordered. That is a community. That is a beautiful community. But it is a little different than this theological idea of beloved community that we're talking about this month. So that's the, dis the, dis the distinction as far as I'm concerned. If you have other thoughts about the belovedness of communities or regular communities and what the distinction might be, leave them in the comments. This can be an ongoing conversation that we have. And I will see you tomorrow.